The world's foremost interceptor has undergone changes to assure it can effectively deal with any enemy threat. The new F-14D was the result of a two-step program which called for an interim F-14A Plus to be delivered first, beginning in April 1988. This new breed of Tomcat will be an F-14A, outfitted with more powerful General Electric F-110 turbofan engines, which increase available thrust from 42,000 pounds to 56,000 pounds. First deliveries of the F-14D, which included the new GE engines, plus digital avionics and improved radar, was made in March 1990. Despite the Pentagon's attempt to curtail the F-14D program, Congress allocated funds to procure an additional 18 new manufactured Tomcats in fiscal 1990. However, production stretchouts are being considered as the Navy tries to reconcile its ambitious modernization plans with projected budget shortfalls. Aircraft procurement plans are being assessed as part of the Navy's Carrier Air Wing Study 2010, which attempts to match the service's requirements and acquisition plans. A Navy version of the Air Force's advanced tactical fighter, which would replace the F-14 fighter, is one of the service's highest priorities. The Navy is working closely with the Air Force on defining a carrier-capable version of this new fighter. The Navy is also studying a Grumman proposal to upgrade the F-14D into the Century 21 Tomcat. Grumman basically proposes modifying the F-14 airframe to reduce the aircraft's radar signature, incorporating modifications to give the aircraft 
a ground attack ability, and perhaps adding an upgraded engine to increase range. Thus, for years to come, the F-14 Tomcat will maintain a vigilance on three oceans, imposing enough to keep the peace or turn the tide of conflict, and above all, always ready.